What's going on, folk? R32 Hot Boy, Hot Boy R32 video, you know what I'm talking about, as usual, again, because I have to keep working on this car, I have to keep building, I have to keep doing things, and I keep taking it apart, so I'm going to put it back together. So stick around, check out the intro, and then you're going to see from there. You feel me? Boom. Come upstairs, run upstairs, take a bath, shit stain, underwears, wipe yourself with paper, bad little ass in my bed at 8.30, wash my plate, ate dinner, up late, gazing at the wall, praying basketball was my future for this young one, hooping in the sun, proud to be where I come from, later shooting guns, fantasized, fascinated by gold rope chains, looking back at my hood days, but things ain't changed. Nasty, nasty, nasty lives is a rebel to America, liberal professor, keep you under pressure, it's like that. Straight razor clean, babies is born, big family started to blossom. Mad people just applied for apartments and got them. Used to be fools to this game of hustles and dealers. From Tommy Guns to Mac Tennis, QB's newborn Shit killers. Nasty, nasty, nasty is a rebel to America. Hey, 
black flag all on my mic I've been known to spend a lot like Bob Barker, the price is right Being broke, my kryptonite Being rich, my superpower Smoking on these bitter niggas In my hood, we call it sour From the south side of FLA Been through Dayton Broward Musty ass kush on me Smelling like a golden shower Yeah, I like my weed louder Bitches batter, niggas realer I don't play about my family About my business, about my skrilla Take these niggas to Escuela Nigga, I speak Espanol I don't deal with pussy niggas Never hang with messy hoes Hanging with them Cubans Boy, you thought he was from Mexico One love to my Jamaican niggas South, I say to all my zoes I don't even speak Creole Bitch, I only speak my mind If my music made you deaf Then bitch, my jury made you blind Did it all with one flow Niggas used to double time Yeah, I used to smart talk But now I had to dumb it down Straight wrecking zeal, bitch I'm blowing up the spot I'm a carrot city nigga, man Y'all hoes must have forgot I am not an emo rapper And I ain't no fucking herd, nigga I was whooping ass since the first, second, and third, nigga Girls that be in love with me Be the type to curve, nigga Yo hoes take a cock or two So that bitch a bird, nigga Could be in the firm, nigga Look at what I earn, nigga I'ma keep it beat Only thing missing it's a perm, nigga Hey, black flag all on my mic I've been known to spend a lot like Bob Barker The price is right Being broke my kryptonite Being rich my superpower Smoking on these bitter niggas In my hood we call it sour From the south side of FLA Been through Dayton Broward Musty ass kush on me Smelling like a golden shower Yeah, I like my weed louder Bitches batter, niggas realer I don't play about my family About my business, about my skrilla My flag on my stern wheel I'm so stuck, I'm stern still Fucked up, had a oil spill This Draco built like Bushwick Bill Like I'm from New York, I'm a red boy and rowdy Pull out this long nose and over like hell. Cool in that South Park, hot as fuck like towels Sipping on crazy, on the slap boy full of Maui I'm so caught up with the burn bird berry Pants hack, I'm a dick and pop, too heavy Turn this noodle pack in the spaghetti Then ride with his body on the hood of the Chevy F-L-A, what the fuck is the deal? Bitch, I'm shaking out of Texas, we keeping it real Got kill Bill, yeah, we got king of the hill I'ma add to be sick, but I stay cracking serious Cold can't get a hit and a hundred dollar bill I'ma delete the momentum, it is not for real I cut it off from people you just like the feel I'm beefing with alligators Cause I killed their cousin Just to make his bitch ass in the boost They handle to the bone I'm strong with the roots Got a mouth full of diamonds Make it like food and loose They know I'm the truth Make them disappear Poof Hit from the back Make the pussy go poof Trap Alright so boom You gotta see a few things right You know what I'm talking about First of all as always Merch is in the description Blood-thirsty.co Check it out for yourself Always in the description For everything You know what I'm talking about That's out the gate Second See the video Hold on let me get my uh let me get this right here. All right. So uh, let me uh, hold this up. Uh-oh, that almost didn't work out. Let's hold this open so you can see. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's not a very good uh, hood prop, but that's all I got, you know what I'm saying? So what do I got in here? So I have the new coil packs and I bought the new coil pack, coil pack plug cover, which is this guy here. And with this, I... I made a mistake. So that's the that's, that's the uh, VR38 coil pack conversion. And I have the wiring specialties harness adapter for it. And I bought this, uh, the billet plate so I could bolt them in. And I totally didn't realize until I installed these that I bought VHR coil packs, not VR38 coil packs. So with that, there's a few little differences and the main differences between them is the VR30 coil pack, the, uh, the stocks of the VR38 coils are actually shorter by like a substantial amount. So that plate is meant to sit up probably about like this much. The plate bolts on top of the spacers and then you can bolt factory coil packs into the engine, right? So it looks pretty much like this, but all the coil packs will be down this much further and they'll actually would bolt into instead of just be hovering like that. You know what I'm saying? However, besides all that, these are all on the fucking target. They should all still work. So in the meantime, I should be able to fire up the engine and it still worked, no issue. I cleaned the spark plugs too. I forget if that's in the video or not, but I cleaned the spark plugs. I have a little spark plug cleaner and I just bought a cheap ass one, I think from Harbor Freight or somewhere. Works pretty good. I know that um, not everything works great from Harbor Freight, but you know, if it works enough, it works enough. So I have a spare set of plugs for this motor just in case, just because why not, you know what I'm saying? It does run rich, not sure why. And the reason I'm doing this whole coil pack conversion in the first place is because I want to eliminate any spark potential issue. I don't, I, uh, I put them away somewhere, but 
I'm not 100% convinced that my factory RB20 coil packs were working at 100% and that's because they they had gone so many years without being touched, without being fired up, without being anything. And I too died on me when I first tried to start the car up and like just weird shit like that happened. So I got like, I had like a, a few more and like I kept putting more in and the harness was falling apart and shit like that, which I mentioned probably in the previous video, you know, whatever. So with that kind of shit, I didn't want to, I did get a wiring specialties harness for that, but I just didn't feel that these old coil packs that are had the shit kicked out of them are gonna be reliable anymore. And I wanna make sure that I have a coil pack in there now that's gonna work and that's gonna be up to date, uh, you know, time-wise speaking, because let's be real, those coil packs are dime a dozen, they're everywhere, they're good for stupid power. I will never exceed the power those are good for kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? And like, just the fact that they're available and I can have all new shit. And if I had to buy a brand new OEM one, I can do it, you know what I'm saying? So availability, serviceability, all that kind of shit is all very important to me. In the future, I will be buying the PRP kit, which mounts the, which puts the new coil pack stock, which is like this big instead of like this. And it mounts the new plate down at the bottom and all the coil packs sit down so you can put the valley cover right on top, right? I really don't want to rock no cover, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I did those things. And to be real, it's important. I don't wanna I don't wanna keep wondering, oh, is my car missing a little bit or is my spark strong enough and shit like that? Fuck that. New coil packs, they fucking work. I already have fucking one of these motors sitting around, so I can always test the coil packs. You know what I'm saying? Like I can always test the coil packs real easy. GTR's hanging out, both GTRs are here, so boom, whatever. You know what I mean? Now, this. Oh man. That's the old one. Yeah man, that's the new one right there. You see that ting right there, boy? You yeah, know. So yeah, with that, I did not record this because I um, was just curious and I fucking, and I had this suspicion that this was glued down and that's why I couldn't get it off. I wasn't sure if I had drilled out all the, the uh, rivets enough and all the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? But it turns out this was siliconed all the way down and I couldn't get it off because of that. If I had kept prying on the roof skin too much, I would have bent the skin, which I actually technically bent the corner like just a touch, but I've already kind of pushed it back down. And the main reason I wanted that part of the roof skin is because it already naturally follows the curved shape that a factory roof follows. Unfortunately, when I made my measurements, I went a little outside the box and I have to actually trim this down starting from here to here to slim this edge because the roof actually slims down this direction, right? So I actually gotta do a slight trimming to this, but I have to be extremely delicate and extremely careful because this roof cut piece looks really good. It actually just looks like I put a white marker around it, which I did, but that does all, it looks more factory than anything else. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty tight. And luckily, oh yeah, I used a, uh, regular nylon string to cut through all that huge pain in the ass and if you did it wrong you could also damage the hood because you'll bend it too much i mean the, the piece you know what i'm saying so i had spent a lot of time being really delicate and it's stupid because i went to go just to see before i ended up cutting off this piece this piece i was about to map out and cut out this shit but the roof piece i need is so big that it actually would include having this hole. So then I have to figure out how to fill this hole without making it look retarded. You know what I'm saying? So like, there's a whole bunch of shit to that, right? So now what's cool is with that, I don't have to worry about that fucking square hole because I'd have to pick a side the square hole would be on, which I would put it, if I had to do that, I'd pick the square hole to be more on this side because the opening for the sunroof is more here. So I kind of lean it favorite more towards that direction, but I would have had to cut this out again and no matter what, there's gonna be a square hole in it, which really would have sucked, right? So getting this done, well, it's not done done. It's just like, for the most part done, right? Marked out all my holes, made sure everything looked good as, as you know I could possibly get them to be. I did uh, the white marker in there, as you can see, hold on. You can see that right there. So I did the white marker and all that shit, so that way, when I take this back off, cause I have to clean the bottom of it, there's, um, 
let me just show you. Why would I tell you when I could just... There's dynamite down here, you know what I'm talking about? And a little bit of rust, I gotta get rid of that shit. So I have to go buy dry ice and pull the dynamite off. It's still gonna leave a lot of the resin behind from dynamite, but at least in the meantime, I can get like a lot of this major shit off. I can wire wheel it, I can do whatever I want afterwards. You know what I'm saying? For those of you dealing with dynamite, dynamite, uh, once you put it on some shit, it's pretty fucking much on there. It's It'll come off sort of like you when you dry ice, like sound deadening, like, like when you do like the back areas inside the cars for sound deadening, it will come off, but not like how sound deadening does. Sound deadening is usually so old, so crispy. And when you dry ice it, it gets so fucking rock hard and it stays together for the most part as one piece. So when you tap it with a hammer and it breaks apart, like you break apart large chunks that lift off of the painted surface. Whereas Dynamat, it's so fresh, it bites in so fucking hard that you'll chunk it off and you'll scrape a lot of it off, but a lot of it'll still have residue left over. You know what I mean? So I got to finoodle that. And I also be super careful doing that too, because if I do that wrong also, then I will warp this fucking piece and I'll destroy it, which is exactly what I don't want to do. Especially considering that when I remove this original, this is my original piece. That's half of it. The other half's here. I'm about to show you that, which you watched me weld that in. But this piece, I destroyed it getting it off the car because it was on there so bad, as you can see here. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, last, but most certainly not motherfucking least, little baby. You heard? All right, I'm trying to walk through here. I left all my shit here because I got it over it. So I took my old roof cut piece to patch up the giant hole that was in the back of the car. Now it looks funny, partially because you can still see like where all the waves and rivets go, right? But yeah, naturally the back piece looks more like this does. And that would be the, the waves and humps, you know what I'm saying? I don't care about waves and humps in the back of the car where the back bumper is supposed to be and it covers it. Ugh, let's have a seat right here real fast. So, damn, 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 dog, what the fuck? Damn, you know what I'm talking about? So, yeah. So, basically, I started with the, you already saw, I started with the measuring out both sides for the most part. I gave this a initial push against the thing, uh, trimmed it out with the uh, marker so that way I could see it's rough shape I needed. I, I left excess everywhere, like in the top corners here and top corner here. I just left it excess. Like the whole bottom here actually needs to be hammered in. I started to hammer this zone here just because that's where this gap is from it being missing from being rusty and shit. So, hold on, here we go. So yeah, I started off with the screw, put it on, and then I just started burning little tack welds to hold it more and more and more. And what really, really fucking sucks, like, all right, if you know how to weld, that's great. I can weld in general. I'm not a fucking welder. And the more I use it, every time I use it, I feel like I get better. And then all of a sudden shit like this happens where I'm just like, what the fuck happened? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so shitty and it's so bad. And I'm just like, yo, like, what the fuck is going on here? So to give a, a, a long story short, as you can see, hold on a second. Let's see if I can, I got holes inside my shit. My shit's got bubbles in it, right? And I kept wondering why I kept busting tacks and then it would grow and then pop a little bit. And it kept doing that. Even though I, I cleaned the surface, but not super great with the wire wheel. I should have cleaned it better. So from what I understand, hold on, what was, what, yeah. From what I understand, like a lot of this shit is from like contamination and shit, right? So, it really, really sucks because like, I tried to wire wheel it. I wasn't sure what, how much of heat setting I should use. I started off on a number four. So if we come here to my welder, it's only got five settings. So I started off with a number four and then I'm like, ah, I think four might be too much. So I cranked down to a three, changed the wire speed a little bit. And then when I got down in here on the inside, this is where I started burning my leg because I kept using my leg to push against this to make sure I, I put pressure on here but I kept busting out tacks and I just kept putting 
one tack weld, next tack weld, and I just kept pushing it, kept going, 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 going. And you can see I keep, it keeps burning shit, right? You can see like the black smolder and shit. It's actually pretty rough inside here. It smelled really bad. So like, I just kept adding more tack welds, more tack welds. So eventually, of course, like, you see what you see now, it's all done now. And it kept burning through on the opposite side here. To be expected, it's just paint on this side. So I gotta chip off all this paint and shit, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, a lot of work that is super tedious takes a long ass time. Just to get like the piece removed off of the old roof took me quite a while. Then like trimming it to shape also took me a while. Putting on my roof takes not that long, but like doing projects like this really sucks because like you never get to understand how much time is put into this. And like this isn't even done. I still need to like heat this up. I got to tap this in so I can put some tack welds here, some tack welds here, some tack welds here. And like same thing with the other side in here. Like I need to like push, I need to hammer these back and push these against here. This piece is fucked, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna front, like, act like I don't know, but like, that shit's fucking trash, you know what I'm saying? So like, it's always a lot of work and I just hate how like, I hate putting a bunch of tedious tasks on like the videos and stuff. But at the same time, it's these super tedious tasks that help still build the car, right? Instead of having a giant hole in the back of the car, now for the most part, the hole is actually blocked off. Those little holes here in the corner, I get small pieces out of this, out of the smoother parts of this, and I will sh dolly them with a hammer and I'll shape them to go back in the hole. <clears throat> and basically, long story short, I'm gonna just, you know, I'll fix those holes, you know what I mean? So yeah, I got other things in the works too, not for this, for the green 240. So stick around, that might be the next video, we'll see. I'm not exactly sure just yet, to be honest with you. I'm working on some other shit for some drifting shit and I might start doing car shows in this car. So if you're local, man, we're gonna find out. You know what I'm saying? Well, I say, when I say local, I mean like Central Florida sort of area type shit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I appreciate you watching. And even though this journey is long as fuck from R32, it's just me working on by myself. My own paycheck, my own money, ain't got no sponsors. I'm just in my garage doing my shit. So this year is the R32. I don't give a fuck about anything else. And I keep getting distracted with other buying other cars. Like, trust me, there's been really, really good deals I've come really close to buying. And like, I just decided I'm only working on my R32. I had some different plans for the black GTR. I'm not even gonna do those this year, fuck all that shit. This year's plans, I gotta just keep spending money in the R32 until the end of the year. So this car runs and drives on its own as best it can first. So yeah, until I've reached that spot, you're gonna get a lot of R32 videos. And anything like leftover I have, like random shit, I'm actually still putting on the green car because the green 240 still needs love too, you know what I'm saying? I have my girl Z I have to work on. I think I may also work on my Lincoln Town car, the Lowrider. So we'll see that, you know, uh, there's a couple months left before the end of the year, so I might, do a multi-card shuffle, lot of work type shit. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I appreciate you watching. Stick around, find a fuck out. Also, if there's anything in the video you have questions on, leave a comment or some shit. I do respond, but I know that YouTube doesn't let you know if I respond. So if you write something in the comments, I do respond. You know what I'm saying? So check that shit out. Stay motherfucking sucker free, the baby. <laughs>